as we get close to uh, greater works and, and, and as we conclude our 40 days of power, um, just want to share a couple of things uh, with us and, uh, and then uh, hopefully uh, we will find a little time to pray. Um, but I'm going to talk about how Israel confronted Jer Jericho. And it's in Joshua chapter 6, verses 1 to 5. And it says, Now Jericho was securely shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have set, I have given Jericho into your hand, its king, its mighty men. And you shall march around the city, all the men of war. You shall go around the city once. This you shall do six days. And seven priests shall bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark. But the seventh day you shall march around the city seven times. The king shall blow, the priest shall blow the trumpets. And it shall come to pass when they make a long blast with a ram's horn. And when you hear the sound of the trumpet, that all the people shall shout with a great shout. Then the walls of the city shall fall flat. And the people shall go up every man straight before him. Somebody say it's coming down. It's, coming down. it's definitely coming down. Now. The battle for Jericho was very, very critical to Israel. This is the first battle they are fighting in the promised land. Remember, God had given the promised land to Abraham 600 years earlier. God said, this is your land. I, I, I have sworn by myself, this is yours. But 600 years is a long time. So people have come to take over their land. And Jericho is, belongs to Israel. By, by the covenant with Abraham. But people are on the land and they've built the city and they've surrounded the city, but it's Abraham's land. And, and so this is going to be the first battle they fight and if they win it, then they will enter the promised land. If they lose this one, they cannot go and possess the rest of the land. So Jericho is very, very important. Now you remember that 40 years earlier, Moses had sent 12 spies to go to Jericho to go and spy out the land. And the 12 spies went, they saw Jericho, they saw the walls, they saw the fruit of the land and they came and said the land is good but we, are, we can't take it. The people are mightier than us, we were like grasshoppers before them. But two people, Joshua and Caleb, said we can take it. However, the rest of the people rebelled against the we can't group. Because the I can't group is always the majority. The I can't. It's impossible. It can't be done. It's difficult. Things are too hard. Things are too hard. The I can't group. But there are two people who say we can, but the I can't people shut them up. So for 40 years... They don't enter the land. Now Joshua is a new leader. He's one of the two who brought good news. And he sent two spies. Instead of 12. Moses sent 12. Joshua sent two. Because Joshua understood majority doesn't always carry the vote. That you can have the numbers and be wrong. And you may not have the numbers and be right. So instead of sending 12, he sent two. And the two spies went and they came back. And they said... The people are afraid of us. And they've shut the city up. Nobody goes out. Nobody comes in. Joshua tells the people, get ready. In three days, we're going over the Jordan. And we are going to possess Jericho. That God promised to Abraham 600 years ago. So they cross the Jordan. On the night before the war, Joshua sees the angel of the Lord with a sword drawn. He asks, are you, whose side are you on? On our side? On our adversary's side? The angel of the Lord said, I've just come to do my duty. 
I've just come to do my duty. So now they are standing and they see Jericho. I want you to pay attention to what is happening. The city is walled. The gates are shut. Nobody comes in. Nobody goes out. And God says to Joshua, see. Everybody say see. Now, if you were there and you saw Jericho. And somebody says, see. What would you see? You see a city with its walls. With its gate. Shut. No access to you. Nobody comes out. But God says to Joshua, see it. And today, as we get ready for greater works, I want you to see. I want you to see. But you're going to see differently. God says to Joshua, see, I have given the city to you. Which city is he talking about? The one that has its walls, its doors shut. The one that says, Joshua, you cannot come in. Israel, you cannot come in. This is not yours. This same land that says you are an outsider, God says to Joshua, see, I have given it to you. So there are two seeings going on. The first seeing is the natural seeing. The second seeing is a spiritual seeing. If you see naturally, you will see a city with walls, with doors that have been shut against you. But if you see from God's perspective, you would see that the city has been given to you. As we get ready to shout tomorrow night for the walls of Jericho to fall and to come down, I want you to obey the instruction God gave to Joshua. See. See. Each one of us have something we see. We have our own Jericho. It may be your child who has become wayward. And you can't just solve that problem. And anytime you see the child, you see waste. You see uselessness. You see waywardness. But God says, see. And when you see from God's perspective, that child is no longer wayward. That child is no longer astray. That child has come home. God says, see. Or maybe it is a family situation, a marriage situation. And everything has gone bad and God says now, see. I don't know what Jericho is standing in front of you. But today we're going to see. You're going to see from God's point of view. You're going to see with the eye of faith. You're going to see with the spirit of faith. You're going to see with the power of faith. Because what you see is what you will possess. The way you see it will affect the way you enter in. So God says to Joshua, before you even start marching around the land, you have to see the victory. Tomorrow night, we would have completed our march around Jericho. Tomorrow is the final march. They marched seven days. We have marched 40 days. And for the seven days that they were marching, it was silent. If you saw them, you would think nothing was happening. The priests were holding a ram's horn, but they didn't blow it. The people were walk, walking, but nobody shouted. But on the last day, 
they walked six times and then the seventh march and the seventh march for us will be tomorrow night when they marched on the seventh march of the seventh day God said shout for the Lord has given you the city and they raised the shout and the walls came down but everything started when God said, see. What you see this morning is what you possess tomorrow night. What you see today is what you possess tomorrow night. So I don't want you to wait till the fasting is over till Greater West starts. I want you to start by seeing. And this morning, I want you to activate your faith. Because you're going to see different. If there is a wall of Jericho in front of you, there is an impossible situation in front of you, you're going to see the victory of the Lord. God says, I've given you the city. I don't know what city it is, but God says it is yours. You have watched it. You have marched around it for a long time, but God says it is yours. And he didn't say, I've just given you the city. He said, I've also given you the kings or the king of the city. The king, the tough guy, the top man, I've given him to you. So you have the city, you have the king. And God says, I have given to you the mighty men of valor. The soldiers of Jericho are yours. The city is yours. The king is yours. The soldiers are yours. You have to see it. Although the door is shut, you have to see it. For some of us, money has been shut from us. You can't even see yourself prosperous. But God says, see it. Because if you see it, you will have it. If you see it, you will have it. So today's prayer, we're going to just pray with faith by seeing. We're going to look at what is standing before us and we're going to look at it differently because we are about to possess the thing that God has promised us. For some of you, God told you something last year. Some of you, last five years. Some of you, last ten years. Some of you, just yesterday. But whatever the Lord told you, see it because it is coming to pass. Are you ready to possess your Jericho? Somebody say it's coming down. Somebody say it's coming down. So let's rise up. Let's rise up. Let's rise up. Are you ready to pray? Lift up your hand. And say with me, by faith, I see it today. The promises of God becoming real. I see victory. I see favor. I see open doors. I see the goodness of the Lord. I see abundance. I see an overflow. I see joy. I see laughter. I see victory. I see it by my spirit. I see it by my spirit. I believe it by my spirit. I receive it by my spirit. I have it. And so I declare, I see it. I see it. The Lord has given me the victory in Jesus name. Amen. Now begin to talk to the Lord. Begin to talk to the Lord. Begin to pray. Oh yes. We see the victory. We see the victory. We see the victory. We see the victory. In the name of Jesus. We see the turn around. We see increase. We see favor. We see it. We believe it. We expect it. We fight for it. We have it. 
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I see it I see it I see it just let the Lord use the power of your imagination let the Lord open your eyes to see that that which seems impossible before you is changing before you it has changed oh yes I see it I see it if all you see is impossibility you are changing your vision you are changing your vision you are changing the image in front of you in the name of Jesus 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 we see the goodness of the Lord we see the favor of the Lord we see the abundance of the Lord we see increase all around I see you move you move the mountains and I believe I'll see you do it again you made a way where there was no way yes we see it I see you move we see you moving Lord said I've seen you move I've seen you move you move the mountain and I believe I've seen you do it again you made a way thank you Lord where there was no way and I believe see you do it again I've seen Said I've seen you move, I've seen you move. You move the mountain, and the is falling. I've seen you do it again. You made a way when there was no way, and I believe I've seen you do it again. Some of you have seen yourself dead, but you have to see yourself alive. You've seen sickness taking over your body, but you have to see yourself well. You have seen shame, but you have to see glory and favor. You have seen defeat, but you are going to see victory in the name of the Lord. You have seen yourself down, but you'll see yourself up. God God does not take us into uncertainty He takes us into certainty He said to Joshua when you have march you will shout for the Lord has given you the city He didn't say shout and the Lord will give you the city but he said shout for the Lord has given you the city God finishes it before we start it God 
finishes it before we start it. We are not fighting our way into victory. We are fighting to possess what is already ours. Do you get what I'm saying? God is not leading you into uncertainty. You are not just now going to find your way. But God has already shown you the victory. I want you to see it. I want you to see the victory. There is an end result. I want you to see the end result. I want you to declare the end result. I want you to confess the end result. I want you to speak it out of your mouth. Conceive it. You move mountains. You come walls with your you believe God has made a way, why don't you shout with glory? If you believe He made a way for you, celebrate Him. If you believe the Lord made a way, celebrate Him this morning. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
Listen to me. Whatever God gives to you, He doesn't put it in your hand. He puts it within your reach. That means He's going to show it to you and He's going to make you see the possibility. But you have to take it. So when God said to Joshua, See, I have given you the city, the kings, the mighty men. It didn't mean Joshua, go home, put down your sword, fold your arms and rest. God says, I have given it to you. It's within your reach. You have to take it. You have to take it. Somebody say, I'm taking it. Say, I'm taking it. That means that there is a step you must take. There is an action you must take. The difference between this step and your own step is that God has already made a way. So when you take the step, it is not a step of your flesh. It's a step of your spirit. And God will give you what he has promised you. So the last prayer we're going to pray. Whatever step God wants us to take. Whatever step we must take, we pray for wisdom, we pray for understanding, we pray for courage to take that step. For Joshua and Israel, the walls came down, but they had to go in and fight. The good thing is no one died from Israel. But they fought. So you're going to fight. But you will live. You're going to fight. But it's not a fight of death. It's a fight of life. The Bible calls it. In the New Testament. The good fight of faith. The good fight of faith is the fight where the end has been fixed it's like going into a boxing match and the end has been fixed because the referee is going to give you the advantage and when you throw one blow and that guy goes down he's not going to say one two and count to ten say, one two three four says, ten finish because the battle is fixed somebody said the battle is fixed and the fixer is Jesus Christ the fixer is Jehovah Almighty when you throw one blow he makes it a hundred blows when you kick one he makes it a thousand when you throw one sword it is ten thousand swords because the battle is fixed somebody say I'm going to fight or say it, say it boldly, say I'm going to fight say I'm going to fight I'm going to fight I'm not giving up I'm going to fight the fight of faith I'm going to fight I'm going to fight I am winning I am fighting I am winning I am fighting I am winning I am fighting I am winning I am fighting, I am winning. I am fighting. begin to declare I'm going to fight I'm going to fight this situation I'm going to fight I'm going to fight this situation. I'm going to fight this problem. I'm not going to allow it to stay. I will fight it. 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 Somebody say, I will fight it. I will fight. And I'm going to win. Begin to talk to the Lord. I don't know what fight is before you. I'm going to fight it. I'm going to fight for it.
you're going to come back pastor edwin i like the flow listen some of you have to fight for your health don't let the devil take you away don't allow it you're going to fight it you're going to fight for your children you're going to fight for your marriage you're going to fight for your business don't sit and cry don't complain fight it fight it fight it because the lord has given it to you fight it let's go giving you the victory why don't you shout with joy somebody say I see it I see it I see it I believe it I believe it I fight for it I fight for it I have it <laughs> 